we, we are, are facing the most serious circumstance I believe we've ever faced internally in our country. And, and I believe that you may say, well, well, now wait a minute now, that's, that's saying a lot. You know, you've got the Civil War, you've got the Depression, but, but I think here's what's more dangerous about it. Those were stark circumstances in which it was clear that we needed to address those things. They were, they were clear, they were palpable, they were, were, were easy to confront and deal with. I mean, painful, but you, know, you knew the Depression was here, something had to be done, what are we going to do? I mean, we, we pulled together with the Civil War. It was a horrible situation, but we knew it was something that one way or the other, it had to be resolved. This is much more subtle. It's much more dangerous because I think there's an effort, to quote him, to fundamentally transform the United States of America and to do it by persuasion, by sleight of hand. In other words, to do it in such a way that one day you look up and you don't recognize your country anymore. I think that's what makes it, in a sense, more dangerous than anything we've ever faced. When I saw the polls of for approval jump after Osama bin Laden was killed, I said, that's the problem we've got. People don't realize this is about more than whether Osama bin Laden is killed. This is about whether the agenda to fundamentally transform the United States of America is carried out. See, I say we don't need to fundamentally transform the United States of America. We need to restore the fundamentals that made America great. We need to come back to those. And America will be just fine. We don't need the government to do more. We need the government to get out of our way. We are productive and creative people. We're hardworking people. We're decent and honorable people. We don't need the government dictating to us how to run our lives. And if they would get out of the way, they would find out that the economy would spring back because we're ready to spring.